Welcome back to another Minecraft building tutorial. Real quick, I just want to mention that over 80% of you that are watching are not even subscribed. So if you enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing for more content like this. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on this beautiful little castle, nether portal. So before we do anything, here's the materials you're going to need and let's get into the build. So here we go. To begin, we're going to go five obsidian across the ground because we are going to start with the portal. We're also going to go five up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then connect them. Now you can save materials by not putting in the corners, obviously, but I would suggest just putting them in to make it easier if you have the materials ready. And now we can go ahead and light up the portal. And now we're ready to continue the build. Now we're going to go three stairs across the front, the nether bricks. And then what we're going to do is on either side, we're going to go five up randomizing stone bricks, stone and andesite. Now you can do this completely random or you can do it in some kind of pattern, but we want to do something just like that. And then also across the top. Now what we're going to do is toss in two stairs on either side right here, stone brick ones this time, and then three walls up just like this on top of the stairs. Now at the very top here, another set of stairs on the top, and in between those two, another stair right there. To finish off this little part, we're going to put a stair opposite just like that to make the archway, and then on the very top of these stairs, we're going to put a wall with a nether brick slab on t top of each of those. Now, I'm going to stop for a second so you can take a look at that and make sure you have that series of block placements down. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is toss a lantern on the middle right there, and it might inhibit you from being able to get in and out of the portal just a little bit, so you can put that there or not. But the next thing we're going to do is go to the sides of it, and we're going to go from right here and bring it up six blocks, again, randomizing stone, andesite, and stone brick. Now, six blocks is going to take us just to here, one above the obsidian. Now, obviously, you can expect we're going to do the same exact thing on this side, so randomize it all the way up to right there. Now that's going to be the sides for our portal or our towers, excuse me. Now what we want to do is take this entire piece that we have here and flip it and do the same exact thing on this side. So what you can do is just rewind the, rewind the video to where I started to put in these stairs and redo this whole front facing piece right here on the other side. All right, and there we go. Now that you've got it on both sides, we are ready to begin the next part of the build, and that is going to be the two towers on either side of it. So we're going to start over here with this piece, and what we're going to do is go one, whoops, excuse me, one, two, three of, again, random, and we're going to do that over here, and we're going to do it right here. So you're going to go in this little pattern right here, three little pillars, and the next thing you're going to do is take out your walls and just go up two on all of these little pieces like that and that's going to bring us almost to that block to finish it off just toss in some randomized ones once again right there and that will even it out to go right there now you can replace these with walls if you want but you will have obsidian showing so that is why i've decided to opt for just the straight pillar now what we're going to do is toss some more stone bricks around just like that and what we're going to do now is put some upside down stairs so do exactly what i do facing this way this way and this way just like that and then on this side, we're going to put one and then we're going to do the same thing over here, here, here and here. And then over here, we're also going to have one sticking out just like that. So now we have a little platform that we're going to place the roof on top of. Speaking of the roof, let's get into it. We're going to put a stair on all four of these points just like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take out our slabs and our nether bricks. We're going to take our nether bricks and put one in each of these four corners with a slab on top of them. Then what we're going to do is take them once again and go up two in these spots right here that need to be filled in. And we'll end up with a shape that looks something like this. Now what we're going to do is grab some stairs and toss them on these points right here that we've created. And then we're going to put a block in the middle and then another one right on top of that. And to finish it off, the beauty with nether bricks is that they have a wall and a fence so we're going to utilize that we're going to go with a wall with a fence on top of it and then an iron bar at the very very tip and that's going to be one of the two towers that now needs to be copied over to this side so let's real quick just speed through this and randomize our blocks up to this point and then we're going to go with the two walls on top of here this is just a recap in case you forgot how to do that one if you need it more in depth you again can just rewind to that point now what we're going to do is put one more layer of stone bricks just like this and then we're going to go in with the stairs let me grab those out just like this 
and it's going to be literally identical to the one we just did on the other side. So no complications here. We're just going to cover that up and then we're going to go in with the roof. Start with the stairs all the way around. And then we're going to go in with the blocks, the slabs, more nether bricks right on top of that. We're going to go with stairs now. Very simple design. And then two more blocks, wall, fence, and finally the iron bar on the top. So there we have it guys, the build is complete and as you can see if you want to spice it up a little bit you can throw some cobblestone, some netherrack and whatnot down there to make it look like the nether is spilling into the overworld but guys this is a great little build for a little fantasy or medieval land that you got going on in your world, super easy to build and if you aren't subscribed guys go ahead and subscribe because I have huge huge plans and things, <laughs> plans excuse me, and things coming up that uh, should be super exciting so I'll see you guys in the next video, peace out.